What is up guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing a couple different things. I know I said the next time you see this, these sides are gonna be completely in glass, but this foam got even worse. It sucked in almost an inch further in than where the glass is, and the glass sucked in even more here, and this is just turning out absolutely horrible. I cannot believe how much this foam has, has absorbed the resin or whatever and has just shrunk and how terrible this has turned out. I came here to glass everything up and I was like, amazed at how bad it looked and I realized that we're gonna have to take this a different direction. George did tell me that you do have to cover the foam once it's done before you lay the glass on top of it. I thought he was talking about a different method of, of pulling the entire thing off and then from there uh, using tape so it releases but um, I didn't know that's what he was talking about. I didn't know that it would affect this so much, obviously because last time I did this, I didn't really think all that much of it and I didn't really pay attention, so I didn't know that it was sucking it in. And a couple of you guys pointed out as well that I should have put some sort of tape or resin over it first, let it dry, and then put the full uh, glass and resin, but uh, I didn't know and so that's how it went. But uh, we have a good solution for this that isn't gonna take very much time at all. We are gonna be keeping the foam that's in here, but we are gonna have to take this piece off here. We're gonna go ahead and quickly grinder this out we're gonna cut this piece completely off I went to a craft store and I got 50 pounds of moist clay and some tools to work it and so what we're gonna use that for is almost like a plug we are going to put it up on top of the foam we're gonna maybe do a barrier on top of the foam and then because it sucked in uh, we won't have to use as much clay if we leave the foam in here I could dig it out first but I figured it's not really worth it um, I don't really want to contaminate a bunch of clay I'd rather just contaminate a little bit uh, so what we're gonna do is maybe cover this with something some kind of tape then we're gonna put the clay on top of this we're gonna put it exactly to where I had the foam previously where it was recessed in just a tiny bit from where I want the final product to be from there we'll use packing tape or some sort of barrier and then we'll glass over that and then we'll pull that off once we have a couple of layers of fiberglass on there and we'll dig everything out all of the clay all of this foam so there's not gonna be anything behind here and then we'll mold that into the car and that's probably the most professional way you can do this um, besides using metal or something like that but I think this is a really good way to use it I'm excited to use the clay and uh, it shouldn't take too long unlike the clay I don't have to wait for it to expand like this foam and that takes forever so I'm gonna cut this off real quick on both sides and then we'll start applying some clay after we do some sort of barrier. You can see just how much this sucked in here. And imagine that's about an inch, maybe a fourth inch of fiberglass in there if I were to really stack it on. But even at that, we still have three quarters of an inch that we need to fill in with some sort of filler. So that's not gonna be okay. I'm really trying to redeem myself on this rear end and uh, we are gonna be redoing it. But now it's time to create some sort of barrier with uh, something, tape or something, and then start putting the clay up there and see how it goes. This stuff is turning out really good so far. Um, it's kind of difficult for me to work it and make it super close, but I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal. I think we're gonna be able to get it a lot closer with this stuff than we're gonna be able to do it with anything else. So uh, it's pretty much at the shape that I want it to be at the final form. It's a little bit bigger, uh, but now it's time to slim it down a little bit and prepare it for the tape and then fiberglass. So uh, this bulge out here is a little bit big, but you can see it's pretty smooth. And by the time we do you know, a few layers of fiberglass and then do some filler work, it'll be more than okay. Um, obviously, we're not gonna be able to you block this stuff or anything to get it perfect, but uh, this has been turning out really, really good, and it's actually 
been quite easy and pretty quick. I definitely recommend this method so far, but we'll see how it turns out in the end. Um, like I said, I'm gonna knock this down a little bit, tape over it, we'll fiberglass this side, and then we'll just replicate it on the other side. I really just wanted to do one side and, and see how it goes before I use more. But obviously, like, I used maybe like a, a quarter of this 25 pound bag here. It came with two 25 pounds. By the way, this was only like $23 for 50 pounds of this stuff and these little tools here was like 15 bucks or something. It was incredibly cheap to get this stuff. I, I'm really pleased. I did get the stuff where you're supposed to bake it in the oven for it to dry. Uh, that way it tends to stay wet for longer. Obviously, if you get the air dry stuff, this could dry on the car, uh, which we're trying to prevent that. And when I do take this off and put it back in the bag, I am probably going to uh, put some water in there just to keep some moisture in there. But I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. I'm sure you guys can tell how awesome this is looking. And it really gives me a visualization of how it's gonna look when it's done before I really spend a ton of time on it. So this is an amazing method. I'm definitely gonna be doing this or using this method in the future, but it's time to knock this down and start some class work. We have our first layer of fiberglass on this side. We're gonna wait for that to cure before we do probably another two layers before we pull it off. Now I'm going to move on and do the exact same thing on this side. And once that is curing, uh, the main point of today's video and what today's video was supposed to be before I found out how bad that turned out was to modify this thing. This thing is uh, pretty good overall. It's a relatively nice piece for being fiberglass. Uh, but it needs to be widened about four inches. So uh, hopefully while that is curing and all that stuff, once we get the other side done, I am going to chop this thing up. I'm gonna chop it here, 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 and here. That way we can still keep these kind of centralized and we'll add an inch in between each gap. That is on the agenda for today, but I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to that because we still have to finish off this side and even start that side. Now that we have that one drying, I did put a second coat on that one, so that now has two layers on that one. And we'll probably do two or three layers, pull them off, and then do one on the back side maybe, and then obviously uh, we're gonna have to mold them all in and all that stuff. That's a lot of drying time, so I don't wanna waste all that time doing nothing, so I'm going to work on this. Um, again, I'm going to cut this into, I think like five different pieces. So this will be a piece, 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 and this will be a piece. And that is because it is too narrow for the car. Uh, we want these pieces here to be setting right up against the outside of the car here and actually be showing a little bit. And the problem is, um, even if I wanted to mount it like this, we would either have to cut this up or, like I discussed in the video where I showed this, 
we would have to cut this pinch weld here and then over there there's a hump for the spare tire that we would either have to cut this around or we'd have to cut that and that would just be a lot of modifications just for it not to be right uh, and I think it'll just be really easy just to cut this thing up and then what we'll do is we'll have an inch gap and I'll screw it together like that and from there we'll just glass over it and bodywork it and it really shouldn't be too difficult uh, the only concern is trying to keep everything lined up while it's drying obviously this is not a flat piece so when you put it this way and you put it this way it is not going to want to dry flat it's gonna want to bend and, and, and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen but you'll see So I know that this isn't going to be perfectly adding a little bit in between each one of these three spots. I know that we're going to be widening this by about an inch more than everything else. And that's because I wanted to preserve this right here where it says silt spoiler. We're not going to be able to bodywork it perfect, but I want to try and keep that in there. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, so we are going to be adding an inch more in between here rather than the sides. I know I kind of wanted to keep it, you know, all around, but this was the easiest way to preserve this and to kind of just make the math easy because it needs to be widened exactly four inches. Uh, it just makes sense to make, you know, four cuts and add an inch in, in between each one. So now the next step is to brace this before we add some glass. What my plan was is to take some of this here and I want to try and cut it into three inch pieces and we're going to screw each one of these together from the inside but we'll screw through here and we'll put a couple pieces on either side maybe like two on either side maybe one here and then two on the other side so that way uh, the screws aren't interfering with each other but we're going to brace it perfectly an inch away from each other and that's going to make our four inches and then from there we can start glassing and this will end up being inside there but it's okay because that'll just add some structure but so far this is looking really good and it's kind of scary cutting up a brand new piece that you just got but this is what needs to happen in order for it to fit our car perfectly. So we fit this thing up to the car and it fits pretty damn perfect. Uh, whenever I measured it out, it, it was almost exactly four inches. Uh, hopefully we can try and set this thing up so that it wants to sag the same exact way. We're probably gonna lift it up uh, or put it maybe on the sides and then lift it up in the middle so it has that same exact kind of bow that it did uh, whenever it was made. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and prep these and do some fiberglass work and then we're gonna have to try and be careful of these screws uh, that way we can still back these things out so we're probably only gonna do a few strips all over and then from there we'll wait till that dries pull these screws out and then fully fiberglass this thing So now while we let this dry, we still have to wait for this one to dry that has two layers. This one has two layers, uh, so we can pull them off eventually. But uh, while that's drying, we're gonna take off this front lip. So we're gonna be cutting it at this line here. Uh, it's not quite exactly where I want it to be. I want it to actually be at this marking here, which would be two inches off the ground, but I just wanna keep it there for now until we do final paint prep.
All right, guys, well, we are wrapping it up for tonight. We got a bunch done. Uh, the main focus of today was trying to get this silt spoiler cut off, sectioned out, and then fiberglass. We have the initial fiberglass here. That dried, we flipped it over, and then we got fiberglass on the backside to pinch it. We tried to get it inside there, so that way it has a nice bond. And then we're gonna flip that back over, we're gonna do the top side, and then we're gonna fill this all in with fiberglass, and then from there, fill it uh, with body filler. Um, in addition to that, we got uh, these, both these sides completely clayed up, uh, modeled out, and then completely uh, done with fiberglass for now. Uh, this one, we got completely molded in now. There's nothing in here besides more fiberglass to uh, seal everything up. So now that there's fiberglass bonding this, uh, from there we are going to sand this down and then do another complete fiberglass to really seal everything in and get a little bit more uh, thickness out of there. And then from there we'll start doing some uh, filler work. And this side didn't quite dry as fast. Uh, we did that one after we did this one, if you remember. Uh, so that one's not quite ready. We still have the clay underneath there, so we're gonna have to come back tomorrow and uh, get the, that one to the same point as this one. Uh, but in addition to all of that, there was one more thing that I wanted to do, and we're not complete with it yet. I just wanted to trim up this front lip here. It was just a little bit close to the ground. Uh, we still have about a half inch I'm gonna take off, off of this whole thing, and then the front lip and the lip all the way around the side skirts is about half an inch thicker than it. I want it to be, I want it to be about an inch so that way it matches the front long nose and then from there the rear wing and all that other stuff. So everything's gonna be a, uh, you know, the continuity between the thicknesses of everything so it all looks nice and, and blends together. Um, we didn't trim the front. I just wanted to trim up this side a little bit so it kind of gives me a little bit better representation of what it's gonna look like when it's done. Um, and I think it looks a lot better. Uh, we still have to do a lot of sanding and, and paint prep and everything. This is a very remedial shape right now. We still have a ton of work to do. Anyways, guys, we had huge progress today. Uh, this is where I'm gonna be finishing it up for today. Uh, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and the build, uh, go ahead and check out the merchandise, uh, the Bozoko style and the Miata merchandise if you're interested in that. Uh, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed and peace out. Oh.